our, our last topic that we're going to cover today is current division. Current division, like voltage division, is a tool that's used to find the amount of current that flows through a particular resistor when it's part of a parallel resistive network. Um, so we're going to start by looking at the single node pair circuit that we looked at when we were deriving the rules for combining resistors in parallel. We see that everything is in parallel, so we should have a common voltage V over all of these resistors. And again, I'm going to choose to put my positive polarity on top. And I'm going to assign currents that flow through each of my resistors with a direction down such that the resistors are all absorbing power. I can write a Kirchhoff's current law equation for this system where IS, the source current, will be equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IRN. And I can then use Ohm's law to express all of these resistor currents in terms of that common voltage V. So IR1 becomes V divided by R1. IR2 becomes V divided by R2. And finally, IRN becomes V divided by Rn. I can factor out the common term V, which leaves me with V multiplied by 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by Rn. And I can rearrange using algebra and find that V is equal to I divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over Rn. I can use this to solve for any individual resistor current without ever actually solving for the quantity B. Uh, so for instance, I could say that the current flowing through resistor R1, IR1, which is V divided by R1, is simply IS times 1 over R1, divided by 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R sub n. What's interesting about this is that I could do one other very simple manipulation here. Okay? So, one, if we didn't have this 1 over R1 in the numerator here, this whole bit would represent the equivalent parallel resistance, right? We have 1 divided by 1 over the sum of all the resistors in parallel. So this looks like um, IR1 is simply equal to IS multiplied by the equivalent parallel resistance, REQ, comma, P. And now we're bringing this factor of 1 over R1 back in, which puts R1 in the denominator. And there we go. So we have almost the inverse relationship that we had for voltage division. For voltage division, we saw that it was the source voltage multiplied by the resistor we wanted divided by the equivalent series resistance. And for current division, we see that the current through resistor R1 is the source current 
multiplied by the equivalent parallel resistance divided by the resistor we wanted, which in this case was R1.